This is the FNCS Global Championship, Fortnite's biggest tournament since World Cup. And something crazy happened here. A controller player actually won. That controller player is six-time FNCS winner Miro, who took the grand prize of $1 million with his teammate Cooper, and is officially the first controller player ever to win a big in-person tournament. And not only that, but we had another controller player, Reet, finish in the top 10. And that's even more impressive because only 10 of the players who made it to finals were on controller. Now, the craziest part to me is that these two players' settings are very different. And you'll see that in this video because I'm trying both of their controller settings and trying to get wins on them while also being on day two of learning double claw, by the way. If you missed my last video, I'm actually learning double claw for an entire week while live streaming it all on Twitch. And funny enough, the global FNCS winner Miro actually uses double claw and I picked his binds to be the ones that I copied. So not only am I using his settings in this video, but I'm also going to be using his binds and his double claw. Then of course, Reed plays right here in claw and I'll be switching to his settings about halfway through this video. So let's first see what Miro was rocking. And he actually recently changed his settings. As of two weeks ago, Miro's on a 0.09 slide hold time. This is on both. This is on 0.1, even though these really don't matter. And vibrations are off. Now, quick weapon, I haven't seen a single pro use this yet, and Miro definitely doesn't use it. So to turn that off, you just toggle this behavior to none. These two grayed out sensitivities do not matter. I promise they don't. I've tested it, and the only senses that actually matter are build mode being 2.1, edit mode being 0.1 higher at 2.2. Miro's look sense got changed to 43%, both horizontal and vertical with no boost. His AES sense got changed to 6% on horizontal, 7% on vertical with no boost. He's continued to be a linear player and he actually moved his dead zones to 8% on both left and right stick as well. So I'm gonna trust that these are good and because I'm actually playing on his binds, I'll show off his binds as well. The D-pad looks like this, basically everything is changed. Switch mode is on L3, we're using a touchpad edit and R3 crouch slide repair. The only thing that's different over on this side is sprint is actually on circle. Over to build controls, nothing crazy over here. And then the edit settings are pretty interesting to me because he's actually selecting with R1. Like, you know how you usually have to hold down R2 and select your squares while editing? Well, Miro actually doesn't do that. He selects those edit squares with R1 and he confirms edits with R2. Then when he resets, he resets with L1. It's honestly been really weird to learn. Like, honestly, the editing is easy, but the resetting is just so awkward to get used to. Well, let's try to win a game on these and then I'll compare them to Reeds later in this video. Hey, let's go. There's one. See where this guy at. There's two. There's something that's kind of interesting is Mira's basically always used the PS4 controller. Then a while back, a ton of pros were switching to the PS5 controller, and he also switched. But then, like a month after that, he ended up switching back to the PS4 controller and said he just likes it way more. So he does officially use the PS4 controller. Oh, we fried. Is he gonna mantle again? 30 again. Bro, these fights are actually so difficult. I can't lie, day two of Claw is crazy. Oh my. Let's go, didn't even get third partied or anything. Oh, bro, my hands are sweaty. Go. All right, these settings feel good. The binds, like, bro. These binds honestly might be the hardest thing I've ever had to learn. 74. Let's go. There's actually just so much focus involved. Wow, and this guy also had the god loot. Nice. Yeah, right there. Okay, I know there's at least one sweat left in the lobby. Nice. Oh, that was almost bad. Okay, let's just not sell. Oh, here he is. Pretty sure this is the sweat. We got a Mega City end game. Try to get up on this hill, maybe. Right, bro, I'm playing like literal chapter one myth. If you've never done something like Learn Claw, you don't understand like how hard it is to be in like actual pressured situations. Wow, bro, every single person is right here. What? Bro, they're all just right here. There's no way. That just can't be real. Oh, the sweat's right there. Wow, bro, I didn't think I see him. All right, there's someone else lurking around too, so I gotta make sure I don't get third party. Nice, bro. Where's he at? Wait, I think he just died, right? 
wait. I cannot let him get to that loot. I stole the slurp from him, that's good. He's gotta straight up not choke. Let's go, bro. We got the dub. Dude, day two of Double Claw on Miro settings. But now it's time for the big Reet set. Now, I personally think that Reet's a better fighter than Miro. Like, I think if Miro and Reet 1v1, then Reet would easily win. Well, in big tournaments like this global FNCS one, fortunately, fighting skills aren't the only thing that matters. And with Miro always winning, this, it seems like Miro must do a lot of that stuff better than Reet. However, for most of us that just want to win games and be good and creative, maybe Reet settings are better for that. I don't know. We'll have to give them a shot. And again, they're also wildly different. Like, Reet uses 0.015 slide whole time. He also doesn't use the quick weapon. His build and edit multipliers are both 1.7. A lot lower than Reet's, but his look sense is a lot higher than Reet's. At 50% of horizontal, 60% of vertical, no boost. And his ADS sense is also way higher. 16% of both horizontal and vertical, no boost. But the main difference with Reet's settings is that he uses exponential instead of linear, and that completely changes the way the game feels. I think exponential is better for aiming. However, Reet's builds and edits are also insane. Like, I just said I think he can beat Miro in a 1v1. Because Reese sits there and grinds creative basically every single day for like uh, hours on end. And I mean, he's doing stuff like this on you. exponential settings, which usually you think exponential is like oh choppy. But no, Reet doesn't make it look like that at all. Reet is actually oh insane. Oh. And then he tops his settings off the dead zone of only 6% on both left and right stick. No, I'm not going to switch to Reese's binds, but what I will do is use his actual controller. Which, if you didn't know, is the Scuff Reflex FPS. Wow, bro, for Claw? this controller actually feels really nice. I see why even though this controller has paddles and Reet doesn't use paddles, it actually makes sense why he still uses this controller. So once again, let's see if I can get a win on Reet's controller settings using his actual controller as well. Bro, I can't even lie, this sense already just feels so weird to me. I am gonna give it a fair shot though. Wow, what is that recoil control? Hello, bro? Wow, I am just so bad. Look, I'm not going to speak of it. We're just going to move on from that. Pretend you never even saw that. My first impressions are that I might end up going back to Miro's sense, but staying on this controller. Right now, that's kind of what it's feeling like. Uh-oh, this guy doesn't even know that I'm here. Ooh, 110, bro. Bang, let's go. No, bro, I was spamming my shoot button and it wouldn't shoot. The delay on that shotgun is just so long. Wow, I really should have won that fight, too. Well, I mean, Miro and Reed's settings are so different that you'd have to try both of them to see who's you like more. Me, personally, I'm way more of a linear player, so I definitely prefer Miro. And by the way, if you want to see my claw progression, then come stop by my Twitch stream, and I might be live streaming right now. As always, make sure to subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.